There's something cool in the mail today. As we see, this fancy little box here. Hey guys, this is Just Moses, and today I wanted to talk about my maroon clownfish. Um, they are extremely, extremely hard to deal with. Um, if you're a beginner, I highly recommend, I mean, advise you to not uh, purchase maroon clownfish unless they are already bonded at a store. I highly do not recommend them. Um, they've been literally the hardest clownfish to take care of. Um, they constantly fault each other. Um, and now I'm to the point where I only have one. Um, I, I don't know if it, it could have been the, the issue where I, I added in this anemone and they fought over it. Um, and this one, when I came home the other day was pecking at the other one, uh, to complete death. So, um, I did separate them, but it was too late and, uh, the other one perished. Um, but I'm, I'm over it. I'm done. Um. I want a pair of clownfish in this tank, and I want—I just want everything to be peaceful. My 40-gallon breeder tank, and um, I'm not getting rid of this fish, but I am taking him out of the 40-gallon. Uh, this will be my excuse to start my 10-gallon uh, nano, very nano tank, miniature tank, because um, I, I just wanted to have fun with some some softies, and uh, he could live in there. So I'll I'll still take care of him. I'll give him another an enemy that he she, he or she can enjoy. Um, so. Yeah, so, like I said, highly, highly, highly advise not to try this fish unless you're extremely experienced and have a very thought out plan. Um, I didn't approach this, I didn't approach it the right way, um, but, it, you know, lesson learned. I'll no longer do that kind of stuff. So, I did buy a bonded pair of uh, fish uh, from Live Aquaria, and uh, I'll be showing you guys my unboxing and uh, what they look like, so... Yeah, so that was just my little tip there. So let's get into the uh, the new clowns. All right, guys. Now that I've already explained this, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just show you like a small overview. I already unboxed it. Um, just some of the stuff that Live Aquaria sh actually uh, ships with. Um, so I bought two new clownfish. As you see, the other one in here I still need to take out. Um, but it came in a nice big box. Um, it's got a nice warm packet for it because it's kind of chilly today and they actually black out the the actual bags themselves and individually pack them so this is how it looks and they also give you other things like uh i believe i thought i had it up here oh they're down here some acclimation guides and stuff so we got the acclimation guide so if you're confused about how to acclimate this is how you do it um and they give you like some other things like 25 like a gift card i get not a gift card but some deal stuff and then basically all the other stuff that you don't need to see so you don't um stalk me so let's get into this and see what these fish look like so here we go let's see if these monsters are in here i haven't even seen them yet Cut this bag away. <laughs> Get off my <laughs> finger. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in this thing here. There he is. Okay, I see him in the corner. Just pour a little bit of water in. I will call that good. There's fish number one. There you go. All right, fish number two. Let's cut this bad boy out. All right, looks like this one didn't want to net. There we go. All right, we have two new guys here. Let's get a little closer. And there we have the new fish, guys. So I got two. I got a uh, a bonded pair of snowflake clownfish. And these are the two I got from Live Aquaria. I bought these as a 
what you see is what you get. So the picture I saw was actually these guys. So I'm really, really, really excited about these two and uh, what they'll what they'll do in the in my system. So guys, I really want you guys to take this uh, this advice with a grain of salt. This is more of my experience and with my situation that I've had to deal with. Uh, I know I've lost some clowns due to some of my my issues. Um, one being that my tank crashed. Two, I didn't, I didn't do my research for the maroons. Um, I'm not saying that nobody can take care of maroons or pair maroons. I'm just saying it's extremely difficult, and I recommend this to more of the advanced people and uh, Aquarius. And that's why I think I have failed as taking care of the maroons. Now I am going to take care of a maroon. I am going to get, put this guy in a, in a nice nano tank, but uh, I just want you guys to realize that the severity of doing research and making sure that you know what you're dealing with before you buy it beforehand. Um, I have made this mistake several times and, uh, you know, lesson finally learned. Um, so this is my update. Um, I will keep you guys posted on some more of my clownfish updates or more clownfish updates and, um, hopefully everything goes well from there. So thanks guys for checking me out. I really appreciate you guys' support and all the subscribes that I've been I've been getting lately. Um, and if you really like the videos, give me a subscribe and like the video. And if you want to see something different, please comment. Let me know. Um, if there's any type of updates you want to see, comment. Let me know. So, guys, appreciate you dropping by. Peace. So, guys, thank you for checking out my channel as always. I am Jess Moses. Feel free to click on the little circle that has my stupid face on it. Uh, subscribe to me if you enjoyed the video. And if you want to see some of my previous videos, I will give one description of the previous video before this one. And if you see a second video, it's because there's another video after this video. So thank you for checking me out. As always, refund.